and welcome to La Waikandongsi. I'm Stu. And I'm Ali. Stu, nice shirt. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. wearing this because it's related to the topic of the show, which is foreigners speaking Chinese. Oh, awesome. So what does it say? I don't know. I can't speak Chinese. Good for you. So today our show is about foreigners speaking Chinese. I mm. do know what this says actually. It says really sure. Good for you, dude. Awesome. There's some peanuts for you. Yeah. Anyway, we all know that there's so many Chinese people learning English and so many Chinese people can speak good English. Yeah. However, now more and more foreigners are learning Chinese. It's amazing, right? And the learning Chinese become a, you know, trend all around the world. So, dude, how is your Chinese? Not good. Oh, well, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. I will always be here, you know, translating for you. Really? No, it's a lie. I'm expensive, right? I cannot do it. I cannot Wipe your ass all the time. Learn it quickly, you lazy brit. Okay, all right. Well, before we look at foreigners learning Chinese and Chinese influence and why they are learning Chinese, why more and more people are learning Chinese first, let's look at the best way of how to learn Chinese. Get them whilst they're young. Mm. So the best way to learn a language, not just Chinese, any language, True. is from a very early age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So children can learn two, three or four languages at the same time. Yeah. When you're old, like me, you're not old yet, but you're getting there. Yeah. But when you're old, it's harder to change your thought patterns. Mm. Uh, it's very hard to learn a language, second language. Yeah. And plus we're busy all day, we're working. I, I think if I didn't have a job, I would just study Chinese and my Chinese would be great. Wait, really? I, I remember you didn't, you, you were not employed. You didn't work, right? You were not working last summer, but did you study hard? I think so. <sighs> no job, nothing to do. Don't have to go anywhere. I'm just gonna study Chinese all day. I'll have a bit of a rest first. But all joking aside, it is best to learn language when you are young. It's true. Now, you guys, you're teenagers or older than teenagers, don't worry, you can still learn a language. Yeah. Don't worry, you, your English is probably great. Yeah. Watch this show, it will get better. <laughs> but you're learning from a young age, best way. That's why Donald Trump's granddaughter speaks such good Chinese. It's true. But you know what, dude? Trump's granddaughter has just met her match. Check this out. That was Happy and B. Rogers, two American sisters who grew up in Singapore. Mm. Their father, multi-millionaire American investors and author Jim Rogers, he said it, he wanted to his daughters to grow up speaking fluent Chinese. So he moved his family to Singapore. So friends, there you have it. The way to learn to speak fluent Chinese is to have multi-millionaire parents. <laughs> The motherfucking eagle double G. Snoop Dogg. Yeah, easy. Yeah, well, very If you easy. want to speak any foreign language, just have, just have rich daddy rich and parents. rich parents, right? And you can you, move to that country. Yeah, and if you don't yeah. have... Sorry. Yeah, yeah I mean... No, no, just kidding. Well, no, yeah, it, well, kind of. I mean, yeah. when, when you see news reports about these kids <laughs> and you think, wow... It's, 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 it's his kids. It's kids. And not grandkids. I mean, that guy no, is no, kind kids. of... is really... He's rich and his wife's oh, young. And, oh, okay. but, but anyway... The reason why they speak such good Chinese, obviously they've learnt it, but also they, 
they're rich and, yeah, and they have the tutors yeah. the whole time and they've been able to move to a foreign country and live there like that so well done but good you for know, you not not many people have the same yeah, opportunities. We couldn't, we couldn't do that. No. Yeah. But anyway, you've done quite well. You? <laughs> perfect. Oh yeah. My Chinese. I live in China, and my Chinese is rubbish. That's because you don't have a multi-millionaire parents. You that's, see, that's the case. That's the, oh that's my the case. God. Anyway, right. Let's look at why foreigners are learning Chinese. So that was Amy Chua, the so-called Tiger Mother. I think she was. Originally from Hong Kong. Yeah, it's maybe. a really interesting name. But anyway, she lives in America and she was in the news a few years ago for forcing her kids to learn um, musical instruments, languages, <gasps> no! do extra study. It's just like all the mother here in China. Yeah, an Asian mother. Yeah. Um, however, there are more and more tiger parents in the States now. Oh. Not Asian. Yeah. Not, not Chinese. And, just Americans, and they're forcing their kids to learn Chinese. Oh, why? Well, obviously, there's a trend among the elitists or uh, elite you know, families. Yeah, the families in US ding, ding, ding. or in Europe uh, to let their children to learn Chinese. Mm. And Ivanka Trump has uh, Chinese nannies. Oh yeah. Well, to help her kids to learn Chinese, and uh, Chinese nanny business are huge, huge in US. I heard that some nannies can make up to seventy thousand dollars per year, man. Seventy thousand. What the? Why what, am I waiting? What are we doing? I should. We, we should go to US, become a woman, and then be the Chinese nanny. Don't need to be a woman. Just be a man, a male nanny. Smart. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, but fine. your Chinese is bad, you cannot be one. I will be the Chinese nanny. Yay! Yeah. Well, yeah. Anyway. Right, so in the case of the father of those two young girls, Happy and B. Rogers, mm. he believes that the future of the world economy is in Asia. It's true. China is the leading Asian country. It's true. Therefore, they need to speak Chinese. Well thought of. So he paid a Chinese nanny to live with them full time for years. <sighs> So, go. And then that, that, that helped. So money really helped. It's true, but what do you think those Mandarin-speaking children will do in the future? What kind of career are they going to take? Well, they could be in government, couldn't they? They could be yeah. ambassadors, they or could take banks. Own banks, yeah, they could have roles at the UN. Yes, just or the... they can just simply inherit the tremendous amount of wealth of their parents. Yeah, that's yeah. a good career. Yeah, probably that. That's really good. Or they might end up in this industry. <laughs> Hollywood, Hollywood. That's right, some Hollywood productions require their white actors to sometimes speak Chinese. Mm. And in the past, these efforts have been rather embarrassing. <laughs> so that was Keanu Reeves. Ta gang tai shola ji ju hua. Zhong Wen, ni jue de zhen me yang. I'm sorry, what, please speak English. I'm sorry, what, what did I say? Oh, that's Chinese? Oh, was, oh, oh, it's Chinese? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I was didn't being Keanu Reeves. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I, but yeah, he tried. At least he tried. It's good, but yeah. it's weird. Yeah. Yeah, it, it wasn't great. Why do you think they get actors who can't speak Chinese to read Chinese parts? Well, I think the face is the most important thing. You, you can be in that movie and speak in really full in Chinese, but... No one's gonna pay for the box office. Uh, yeah, true. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Ah. Um, so yeah. yeah, so I mean, they just want the stars. Yeah, actually. they want the stars. Uh, anyways, we sometimes see the reverse. Oh yeah, we see Chinese stars in Hollywood yeah. required to speak English. That's true. Um, and I can think of one example. Oh, which Jing, one? Jing Tian. Jing Tian. Right? Jing Tian. Jing Tian. Yes. Let's see. My Chinese rubbish. But she was recently in a Hollywood production. Uh, what was it called? Kong Skull Island. Skull Island. Jing Tian was also in Great Wall, and she's mm. going to be in the new Pacific Rim. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. I think she looks amazing. Right. What do you think about her English? E I don't know. Definitely, English is not her strongest aspect. Aspect. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's a good actress. Yeah, she's a good actress. She's perfect. She can work on her English. Mm -hmm. She's kind of amazing. I don't know. She she's in so many great movies. She's young. She's young, and uh, she has this mysterious thing. With her, so I dare not to say anything. She's great. Awesome. She's awesome. Know, Good for you. I, I love you, Jin I don't know what you mean. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the director of Kong Skull Island yeah. actually said that the most difficult thing about working with Jing was her limited English. Oh, and that's, they had that's to bad. 
cut her parts quite a lot. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we can help her with her English. Yeah, we can. Yeah, definitely. Jin Tian, yeah, call us. Give us a call. Give us a call. Give definitely us a call. help. Probably right? him, not me. Yeah, yeah. I already helped some big stars. But yeah, seriously, um, like. But yeah. I'll I'll come along and watch. Yeah, let's let's do it. That sounds weird. Yeah. Anyway, uh, do you think that? Chinese actors speaking limited lines mm. in Hollywood productions, or American actors speaking bad Chinese in Hollywood productions, is going to continue. Well, I think that's going to change because there are more and more actors and actresses are learning, you know, both languages. Mm -hmm. And I think Jackie Chan is a great example. Uh, his English yeah, is. Yeah, but he's an old example. He's an old example that people should learn from, right? Yeah, yeah I, can, I think you can you try force yourself, right? If you want to be really good. You know, I think learning language compared with learning how to act, it's not a difficult part, right? So I, I, I hope those actors and actresses will learn their English and Chinese well, can bring more authentic line. Yeah. Okay, well, and if you need to learn, need a teacher, us. La, la, us la, la, seriously, we it. really help. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we've looked at young learners. Yes. We've looked at tiger parents outside of China. We've looked at Hollywood stars. Let's look at the final aspect of foreigners learning Chinese. It's difficult! Just Learning true. Chinese is difficult! It's, it's It's really difficult, yeah. especially for people who grow up not learning characters. <laughs> it's true. We learn an alphabet, oh, characters are... T ah. Okay, so if I didn't have a job, it would be much better. I could sit at home and study all day. But yeah. I do have a job, and lots of people do have jobs as well, That's true. and when they finish work, they're tired, yeah. and then they don't really want to study a language. Yes. It's mentally tiring. It's true. But anyway, what do you think is the most difficult thing for foreigners when they learn Chinese? Well, as a master of languages, I can tell you, it's, it's a fact that Chinese is one of the most difficult languages to learn around the world. Perhaps mm -hmm. if you have a ranking, Chinese can rank number one or number two, maybe some other languages, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe Arabic. Or probably another difficult. Asian language, right? Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Chinese is difficult because Chinese has a long history. I mean, the language itself has some thousands of years of history. So it's difficult to learn, and especially for foreigners to learn whose language is the alphabetic system, Chinese is a different system. So my advice for all the foreigners who really like to learn Chinese is... Rich Maybe. parents? <laughs> yeah, rich parents, of no. course. And also, I would say, start with something really simple. I mean, because Chinese can be very difficult if you just learn it from TV or news or everything. Yeah. And maybe l try to learn, sing songs. However, yeah. most of our fans are Chinese. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> talking about you guys, yeah. what do you think the hardest thing for Chinese learners is when they learn English. All right, as an English teacher myself, I can tell you without any doubt that all the Chinese can speak English well, because seriously, you can speak Chinese, Chinese is so difficult language. Yeah, and English is easy. It, 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 compared with, you know, English, Chinese is so difficult, so you can definitely speak English well. All you have to do is just find the right teachers and follow the right path and have the right methods, which can be a lot, but you can learn it with the right teachers. Choosing the teachers is very important, I think. Yeah. And have, really. have fun while you're learning. Yeah. Like, watch this show, like, yeah. funny things. Like, yeah, 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 make fun yeah, of each yeah, other. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. right. So, that's, that's all we've got to say about foreigners learning Chinese today. And I think it's time for a song. Let's do it. That was rude. We just mentioned that one of the best ways to learn a new language is try to sing the song in the targeted language. Yeah, so, so just sing a nice song. We're from? Gonna, we're going to sing Justin Bieber. Oh, Justin Bieber. I know him really well. You know, actually we share the same day as a birthday. Like we were both born on March the 1st, like so close, right? So Right, great. I thought you were going to say you share something else, but just a birthday. Yeah. Right. Call me. Yeah, great. Okay. My mama don't like you, but she likes everyone I never like to admit that I was wrong I've been so caught up in my job I didn't see what's going on But now I know I'm better sleeping on my own But if you like the way you look so much Oh baby, you should go and love your Self. That's yeah. it? No, keep going. If you, if you, if you, if you, I forgot the line. If you, 
the way you look so much Oh baby, you should go and love yourself You sure it's love yourself or not the other one? I'm pretty sure you would love yourself Oh yeah, sure, yeah. love yourself yeah, So, yeah. if you want to learn English, learn how to sing that song better than we did Yeah It shouldn't be hard Very easy Right. So, uh, tell us how you learn English. Tell us if you think that foreigners should or should not learn Chinese. Yeah, Obviously and they tell should. us what you think the most difficult part of Chinese is. And share with that with your foreign friends, right? Yeah, Me? That him, I'm your right? foreign friend. Yes, yes. Right? Wr write him some letters, some tips. Right? Watch us every Thursday on the Odo app. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.